Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. How do you do, sir? Family Guy, great. Okay, sure. Preemptive like. UK versus USA. Geopold. Let's get started, guys. Hope you're doing well. My name's Connor. If you're new, play. It's not a bunk machine, it's a fence. Fire. A wee fire? Where's the bacon? It's that Ninja Turtle, yo. I'm half Barney, half Ninja Turtle. I karate you, you karate me. <laughs> Now then, boys, I think I've had too many f***ing Stellas. I'm making a Rice crispy and tea bag sandwich. Nice. Hey, lads, I am the f***ing man. If there's anything us Brits know how to do, it's getting drunk. We literally rank in the top few countries for amount of binge drinking. I like living in Britain because my, my obvious alcohol problem um, isn't a problem here. And you'll <laughs> commonly catch British pint sinkers making fun of Americans for not even being able to pour a f***ing point of lager. There are literally whole sides of the internet dedicated yes. to American beer related fails. And for oh. the most part, British people think of a internet dedicated to Is this Guinness floating on top of water? That is the most unsurprising thing I've ever seen. Guinness is dangerous. I love Guinness, okay? It just goes down too smoothly. I know that sounds crazy, it, but okay. To American beer related fails. And for the most part, British people think of Americans as massive lightweights, pussies when it comes to the beverages. That might be correct for the most part, but I do think we're making one big massive miscalculation by forgetting about the deep south. Now, for those of you who doubt my hillbilly fortitude, let me show you here what we're going to do. Some straight gasoline. Here's what we're going to do with it. Yo, buddy. If that's real, you're dead. Actually, he's not. He's fine. He's probably done this since he was three. There's a hillbilly shot. That's the That Red Bull give you wings. Or that moonshine give you four-wheel drive. Gives you a halo. Look at that. Bite me. Bite me. He just down snake won't bite me. You know why? Like, no, that's because poisonous. That's the best moonshine around. <laughs> the man with the shark bite on his arm, and he's going to chug this whole goddamn thing of 100 proof moonshine. Now, liquids aside, That's probably the main real, thing that Americans like to yap about online is how, on that fateful day in 1776, they carved two paths into the future for our two nations, one having god-tier cuisine and the other having disgusting slop, which I think is a bit rich coming from a nation who also exports this kind of content online. Oh, my God. Oh, I was just about to say, hot take, I think British and American food is good. And then this shows. Come on now, Fried noodles and lettuce. bacon. Noodles and bacon. Hey, they told me don't put the bacon in the noodles. I said fuck them. Fuck they talking about. I told them fuck them. Come You're on, telling. man. It's a whole Mountain Dew. Set up, man. Hey, I'm going to drop this egg right down in there. It's only going to take about 20 seconds. We're going to pick this egg up out of here. Set it over here in this seasoned flour. Refry it. you got a good coating of flour all over it, take your spatula. Just set it back down in the grease. Here it is. Chicken fried egg. Oil with a little egg. Bacon, egg, and cheese? Is that a, a sauce bracelet he has? Here it is. Chicken Friday. A bracer. Oh, it's those little mini shots. 
things. Uh, what do you call it? How, why am I surprised? Bacon, egg, and cheese with grava on a roll. Grava? Yeah. Grava? Yeah. Grava? Yeah. Bacon, egg, and cheese with grava? Yes, bro. Yeah, tobacco grava? Yes, bro. <laughs> But overall, yeah, fair enough. They can have this one. I mean, taking a Jelly look deals, at British haggis. food Instagram what? is about as traumatizing and PTSD. That's look someone just took a shit on the plate. That's that's Instagram what that is. is about as I <laughs> I usually say I don't care really how food looks as long as it tastes good. I spoke too soon. That looks like a turd All right. traumatizing and ptsd inducing as serving a couple tours in oil land now then boys look at that for a the biscuit bill today. sandwich custard cream sandwich real fighting scrum and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes hold on hold on what is this how is the pasta gonna cooked cook i guess it could in the sauce but there's not enough is that is that tomato soup Oh my god, the more I look at it, the more... ...in the oven for about 20 minutes. One of the first things I always hear from British people who visited America, usually coming right after the He's fucking massive, mate, is the fucking police over there are mental. They should make a... A TV show where they switch American cops and British cops and just like just like for like a, a experiment j j not all of them but just like a group <laughs> a bit more yes <laughs> over the the UK cops would probably die and the American cops would probably kill people <laughs> more power more power more power that's it Bro, some what? of the American laws are so <laughs> dumb. You can literally get prison time for crossing the road wrong. For example, in True, New I've never York, seen someone get arrested, isn't but I know illegal it's... unless you do it diagonally. <laughs> what? <laughs> in Texas, you can get prison time for being intoxicated in public. So if you're walking home and you've had a couple drinks, sir, get your hands behind your back, get your goddamn ass right on the goddamn floor right now, boy. Apparently, you don't even need to actually be intoxicated. You just need to seem intoxicated and you could be taken into police custody bro there are a bunch of these Whoa. just stupid laws that make no sense and therefore if there's a cop Hank. that just has a grudge or really doesn't like you for some reason they can seriously punish you i actually saw you spit on the ground back there sir yeah buddy i saw you sitting on the sidewalk obviously we do have this same problem in the uk yeah but and you can't get shot despite the american perception we do actually have some scary looking police in the uk as well believe it or not but, I gotta but they're for like special circumstances, right? Like they're called in. It's not like everyone has it, right? Hey, British I mean police constables and American sheriffs. They gotta be in some kind of competition over who can look the silliest, bro. <laughs> That's Despite the, most the extremely cop. goofy looking police and the posh stereotype. No, this cannot be forgiven. Now empty the compartments of your pantaloons. For what purpose? And discard of your footwear For as well. For what purpose? In fact, I am equipped to summon the one casually known as Little Travis on your buffoon self. You might be surprised to know in the UK, we actually have some pretty scary geezers. See this guy? I'm telling you, one of the most dangerous dudes on the planet. If you fuck around with him, you're dead. Would you like a sweetie? A what? A sweetie. A absolutely stupendous con Oh, yeah, not too intimidating. Like, this guy, though, I, I swear he makes light work of America's scariest, heaviest, most elite boxers. He'd literally kill. There you go. <laughs> Does that look like a fighter's body? He's like 6'8, isn't he? And I think he does pretty well. So. Barely not. Yeah, it's not that bone chilling, is it? I mean, these guys are fucking menaces. Surely they'll come across as terrifying. Mo we were taking those pills, the laxative pills. You know, the ones Lax you take, you pop, and you wait for 20 minutes to go to the toilet, and they go through you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go through this man. Nice <sighs> and Fucking whatever, man. Leave it. Let's switch the subject real quick. Oh, fun. Beautiful. 
China? Are you a competitor? Are you an ally? Are you a threat? How would you regard your relationship with Britain? Britain is not a rival, it's not a competitor, it is not an enemy, it's not an adversary. But I think it would be completely misguided for Britain to view China as an enemy or adversary or thing. a competitor. What do China and Britain compete with? Is Britain a competitor? No. So I think British government should not overestimate its impact on the global scene and view Britain as a rival of China. China is not. Yeah, there's a scary <laughs> amount of Brits. <laughs> I mean, you're just like any other European country now, but yeah, it's like... It's like you're the old guy on the basketball court who was super good when he was younger, and now he's just a little bit on in his years. To for some reason believe we're like some actually relevant, important world power. Despite us having less than 1% of the world's population and like 2% of the world's wealth. I mean, literally over half of this country's population was convinced that they're so important, so economically powerful, and so essential to other countries that we could just leave the closest financial union we have and everyone's lives would miraculously be better. Realistically, Brexit is like if Illinois and Michigan left the states. <laughs> yeah, sure, it'd make a difference, but realistically, no one gives a fuck and no other state is going to go out of their way to help them out. And worst of all, now your ass cannot leave Michigan for more than 90 days despite the clowns who came up with this whole thing all having free passes to move in and out as they please nigel farage's kids have german passports the guy loves the eu so much he made sure his kids get free movement within the union something he caused most uk citizens to never have if you are purebred british Either. which i thankfully am not this guy literally took away an integral part of your freedom a freedom that his kids conveniently get if that doesn't prove to you it was all just clout seeking bullshit I don't know what will there are obviously some things I don't like about the EU but they definitely made more sense as financial partners than the US yeah for hey. anyone who doesn't know quite a lot of the pro brexit rhetoric hey. we are the British Empire in America together well not Empire well, I don't know. It was based around us ditching our European ties for our better American buddies. Only problem is the EU's there uh, and America is there. Just, like, Not that this is really anything new. I guess pretty much since the First World War, our two countries' relationships have been a bit like. <laughs> Honestly, what can you expect from a country of politicians who conduct their most important decision making the same way toddlers argue in kindergarten? They're what, uh, almost as clever as American politicians. Does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? Senator, I'm saying no. Hey, at least over Are you sure you're not Chinese? No, I'm not. Are you Chinese? Okay, he's Chinese. Have you ever been a member of the Chinese Communist Party? That's Tom Cotton. I'm Singaporean. No. Hey, no, at you're least not. Over in the States. Yeah, the politicians might be brain dead, but literally. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to foot him. Uh, foot, foot. You got this. You can't Trump. deny they got some serious swag, though. I need some of them Trump ricks, bro. <laughs> Dude, you get a pair of these jitties. <laughs> Match that with the OG Biden Newport tracksuit. You've mastered hey, political. Hey, I kind of like that. Jitties. Match that with the OG. I don't think I've ever worn matching clothes in my life. I'm fashionably challenged. Biden, Newport tracksuit, you've mastered political unity, bro. Anyway, in conclusion, these two countries have a lot of differences, a lot of things we don't agree on, a lot of things we dislike about each other, but I also think we share some common ground. And you know, at the end of the day, regardless of what we think about each We're other, at least brothers. neither of us are French. <laughs> Sorry, France. That was good. That was good fun. All right. Great. Love you guys. Hope you're doing well. Would appreciate any comments. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys. Cheats.